happen more and more. They've become more and more brutal over the past few weeks. But what are they trying to accomplish? What exactly are they trying to accomplish? Joining me now is Mike Rogers, CNN national security commentator, Nicholas Kristof, New York Times columnist and Rula Jabril, foreign policy analyst and author of Miral. So thank you all so much for joining us this evening. I had a very sober conversation uh, with John Miller earlier. So Mike, my fir first question is to you. You listen to that interview uh, with John Miller and you look at the events over the last week. Um, if we are in a war between ISIS and the West, who's winning right now? Well, certainly ISIS has had some uh, tactical victories, and they've done something pr pretty important for their, their terrorist credentials. They've been able to pull off very sophisticated operations. You know, it's not easy to get into uh, uh, France undetected, uh, let alone be able to put together bomb makers and logisticians that can get vehicles and do other things and get on top and have that uh, event go off as planned. That's a very difficult thing to do, uh, and it's that the level of sophistication in all that planning means they've had a tactical victory. Same with the bringing the plane down over uh, the Sinai, killing the Russian tourists. That was a pretty sophisticated operation. And same with uh, getting uh, folks into Lebanon and getting those bombs to go off on target, killing 46 people. So it is a, they're having a series of tactical victories. Certainly strategically, we're nowhere close to losing, but that is an important, uh, an important part of why they've gone to this new psychological campaign that you see with the videos in New York. And as you said, it's a